well, it's urethane instead of rubber, of course, but it just has different chemistry. Um, it's a mixture of long and short chains, molecule chains, and it has viscous-like properties, like a fluid, because all the molecules are not connected. Many are left unconnected, so it can flow a little easier. And it's a very soft material compared to most rubber, and um, it has a slow recovery since everything isn't connected. It just reduces, it's just like if you spill water out, it just goes out and doesn't come back. It just spreads outward. But being some of the molecules are connected, our spring's back, but it comes back slowly. 100% memory? Virtually. But it's delayed? It's delayed. To talk about it, it's, it's, main, it's a cast material. Um, it's molded by casting. It's a liquid at, when it starts out. Um, like, unlike plastic where you melt it and you, under high pressure you inject it into a mold or extrude it and then it cools to harden and rubber is again very tough material you soften it by heating it because it's not fully cured and under high pressure you could squeeze it into a mold ours is done by very low pressure it's a liquid um, so you cast it in and it's a chemical reactive type material once the ingredients all blend a lot like two-part epoxies it catalyzes and reacts on its own and cures with um, a small amount of heat applied just to speed up the curing process but in its drawbacks is that you can't injection mold it it limits some of the design features we can do because we have to be able to flow the material in and get the air out and we can't do things with large undercuts or very small cross sections sometimes because it, you know we just don't have the pressure in order to fill those cavities